show, Acadiana's longest running high school football show. This is first and ten. As we continue the highlight parade, we're going to go to Maurice, where the Patriots welcomed LCA. We're going to go to the second quarter, North Vermillion down 21 nothing, looking for points in the second. Ethan Frederick looking to help that cause with a nice run and a first down. Fourth down for the Patriots, however, Tucker Dene would be short. There, Knights would get the ball back. Jawan Johnson, a lonely Dudley Jackson the third, gets him a touchdown. LCA pitches the shutout there. 34 nothing. I don't think he minds being lonely there. Some people call me Maurice. As the season moves on, every home game means much more uh, for the teams looking to contend for a state title. Maurice and every game <laughs> stolen on the road helps teams looking to stay alive. Newsend Sports' Jonathan Bulock joins us with more Week 9 action. Hey, Jonathan. Sometimes we... Hey, thanks guys. At this point in the season, teams are fighting for playoff positioning, and every win means that much more. The Rain Wolves, they're hosting the Ritter tonight, and we'll go straight to the second quarter. Dylan Judy's, hey, George, you might have a Fouls Phenom on your hands. He gives to Darren Chevalier for the one yard rushing touchdown, and after a Dragons three and out, the Wolves are ready to strike again. And guess who it is? It's Dylan Judy's on third and ten, dropping back in the pocket, connecting with Corey Malone for a Rain first down. And a couple plays later, Judy's is going to go back to Malone on the deep ball and drives it right on the money. Malone into the end zone for another Wolves tutty. Rain will take the win, 42 to 35, the final. Over in Church Point, the 8 and 0 Battling Bears taking on the Kaplan Pirates. We'll go to the first drive of the game as quarterback Brian Hammond is going to keep it himself and waltz into the end zone for a Pirates touchdown. But the Bears would answer back. Jaden Reese on the quarterback power, bouncing it to the outside, forcing. The, the Bears going to force him down at the one yard line. He's a tank right there. Just give it to him, and he's going to take it himself in for the touchdown. Church Point is going to take the win 36 29, the final, moving to 9 0 on the year. Church Point has been dominant all year, winning their past five games by at least 30 points or more, and tonight was a close one. It might be a wake up call for Sorts looking for a state crown. All right, yeah, Church Point hoping to get past. Uh, the semifinals. They've been there uh, last year and the uh, year before they went deep into the postseason, so hopefully uh, they're uh, doing uh, that as they wrap up the season and hope the playoffs are there for Where do you want to go next, George? Uh, let's move on to District 5 4A. What do you say? Livonia making the trip over to Cecilia. First quarter, Germani Davis finds a wide open Jonathan Bubba Boudreau, who takes it all the way in for the Bulldog score. The Wildcats get the touchdown of their own in the second quarter, but on the kickoff return, it's Davis this time taking it. You know how it goes. We got the Acadiana Eats Festival tomorrow, and Scott. To the crib! That one's for G. Right there. Cecilia wins big. 42 17. See you in Scott tomorrow, 12 to 5. For a bridge, hold sting. Appaloosa is over in the Crawfish Capital. Quarterback Zach Malvo slings it to a wide open Makai Jones in the end zone for an O Town touchdown. So quick, even our cameraman couldn't focus on that. Got to keep up there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you got Bro to. Bridge would go three and out. OHS gets the ball. Back to Sean Built Ford. Tup puts it in the gear like a Shelby Mustang and cruises to the end zone. Opelousas 45, Bro Bridge nothing. That's right. All right. How about Sulphur and Nish? This one in Sulphur, the Golden Tours and the Yellow Jackets in what would be a low scoring matchup. New Iberia found some momentum in the second quarter. It's quarterback Allen Hamilton finding Cedric Moore over the double coverage. A big game there. A few plays later, it's running back Sh Shanghai Charles. Crossing the plane for the easy touchdown. The momentum halted for the Jackets, however, as Lightning would delay the game for over 40 minutes. New Iberia sat at 7 3 at halftime. 17 14 now in the fourth quarter. The Jackets with that three point lead. Time for Melvin's mascot of the week Maurice. Oh, no. No, it, it, no it's from, they are Bobby. Their name is Bobby. Oh, They're okay. from Erath. Okay. He heard Bobby. So in their in their third year with this long-standing Erath High School symbol, sir. Nice, very nice. Hey, we'll be back here on uh, first and ten, as uh, Thursday had a lot of matchups this week. But first, let's hear from our fans of the week. There you go. Ah! 